Hello and welcome to the installation guide for the HP 250G4. Now, the things you'll need are a Phillips star screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. Now, let's get started. As well, you will also need the replacement screen. You can buy one of these from laptopscreen.com. Now for this demonstration, I am going to place the computer facing your direction so you can see what I am doing. First of all, you need to take the flat screwdriver or any flat prying device and you need to open up the screen panel. You can shove it underneath there and you can pull and you'll hear some clicking going all around until you reach the bottom. There's a bit of sticky tape at the bottom which you'll have to put a little bit of extra force on. And the panel comes off. Now, once you've taken the panel off, you'll need your star screwdriver to remove these four screws. Now, those are the four screws that hold the screen in place. Once you've removed these four screws, we will go on to removing the screen and un disconnecting the pins. All four screws removed. Now we can nudge out the screen. Once you've taken the screen out, you can lay it flat on your PC and at the back you will see some your connectors. Now you can pull out these, this connector, peel off the tape first and you can slide it downwards. Now we have removed the old screen. Now to install the new screen, first things first, peel off the protective glass protective plastic rather then you can lay it as well again on top of your laptop with the connector facing the connector position on the laptop start by sliding in your connectors right. and put your tape back on then we go on to mounting it back into position. Once mounted in position, check that all the holes are aligned and we can start screwing these things, screws back on. Now once you're done inserting these screws, the whole the last part to put on is the cover and you should be good to go again like a brand new laptop that hasn't been in any trouble all in all this installation even for a beginner should take you about 10 minutes it is a pretty simple installation I'm just struggling because I'm doing it upside down and back to front. For this part, I'm just going to turn just so I can align myself with these screws. And the last screw goes in to the last position left okay now that the new screen has been put on it's time to put back on the cover start by putting it in at the bottom by the hinges and then you can start clipping it all along the sides and the 
top as well as the bottom. Now once you've clipped it at the bottom you need to close the screen slightly so you can clip it on the hinges. Right, screen installed, now for the magic touch, let's see if it works. Start up the computer, and so far all looks good, and it's a perfectly working screen. Hopefully you guys do this yourselves as well, and learn a lot from it. Thank you.